We decided to split between two places. Um, the city that we live in now, Chicago, where my wife's from, and a lot of our friends and college friends and, and uh, her side of the family live. Uh, we spent about three and a half hours there when the cup arrived, um, and then flew back to uh, Regina, Saskatchewan, where I'm from, and had another family party with my brothers and uh, their kids, my nieces and nephews, my uh, mom and dad, and aunties and uncles and cousins uh, later on that day. It was nice for my wife to be able to, to show her family um, what she does in supporting me and what I do, why she moves away, you know, and leaves and isn't there for her nieces and nephews' birthdays and things like that. So it was kind of nice that we could kind of show those people what it means for her to be able to move and, and uh, you know, share my life with, with each other. It was a lot easier when I played in the West. We would head up Calgary, Edmonton, things like that, so I could see a lot more friends uh, more frequently and things like that. So this uh, was our time to go back to, to Saskatchewan and, and see uh, actually, I had a, a nephew that was born that I never saw that was born six months or six weeks after our son um, and that they live in Dallas. So we actually got the, the whole family together for the first time. My parents have, uh, I believe, seven grandkids now. So we got a photo of the grandparents and, and grandkids looking every which way, which are nice. And it was just nice to be able to get back and see grandma, um, my aunties and uncles and people who follow us all year long. We raised uh, some money for the Cancer Society in Saskatchewan, so we tried to do our part with raising money and, and showing it to the community. But um, this time we got photos um, taken as a family out in the wheat field that I didn't get to do last time that, that we were really, really happy with and uh, perfect sunset and things like that. If you get it again, since you heard at it twice, you can be greedy. If you get it a third time, Chris, already thoughts of what you would do? Um, no, not really. Uh, I mean, you always think that you're going to do less with it and, and kind of keep it more personal. Uh, but as the day arrives, I'm sure you're going to have more requests to show it to everybody. Um, maybe by then we'd, we'd own a, a cottage or a lake house somewhere that we could have, uh, you know, you see a lot of guys with pictures with on the lawns or on the boats and, and that type of thing. But uh, I don't know, it'll be a great, uh, great discussion when it comes again, hopefully.